Thanks for checking back in. I've got some really fun stuff planned for the Print NC, I think, specifically the X Gantry. Depending on how well it goes, I might incorporate it on a couple other aspects of the frame, um, but really going to focus on the X Gantry in this video here. So the topic of filling the frame or some aspect of the print NC with epoxy granite comes up all the time. Um, so I'm taking my own little approach at that. And I'm going to fill the X gantry with some expanding polyurethane foam. Hopefully that will help dampen some of the, the natural vibrations of the machine while it's cutting and improve some of my cut quality. So I've really tried to incorporate a few ways to measure the actual improvement from filling the X gantry. It's surprisingly difficult. There's not a lot of DIY or hobby grade measurement systems out there to do this kind of stuff. I tried incorporating an accelerometer onto my machine to get feedback from cutting. Uh, didn't work so well. Uh, so what I settled on for this video is using a decibel reading of the cut as well as using a standard NC program on a standard setup to see if I can see a quality improvement in my cutting before and after making a change. So to start off this video, Let's take a look at the methods for the baseline configuration of the machine. As you may have seen in a video I posted a few weeks ago, I machined some M caps for the X gantry out of a half inch stock of aluminum. Those plates that I machined have a provision for a half inch EMT conduit to run down the length of the X gantry so that I can still run wires through the length of the gantry after it's been filled. You can go back and watch the milling of that part, I'll link it in the card above. I was really impressed with how well the machine handled the machining of that, especially with the new 3 8 inch chip breaker that I used from Carbide Tool Source. So let's jump into looking at how I installed those end caps into the X gantry. All right, now that I've got a sealed out X gantry tube, let's get to the fun part and try to fill this thing with some polyurethane foam. The product I'm using to fill a gantry is a marine grade six pound expanding polyurethane foam. Uh, if you're interested, I got it from totalboat.com. Uh, really easy to acquire um, and overall very happy with it. As shown here, I did do a test run in the mixing cups to better understand what my working times would be with the material. I also did test it out on a 24 inch section of ABS pipe just so I could verify my process of pouring it at an angle and making sure they would fill the entire tube from the bottom up.
So overall, I'm really impressed with this stuff. It cures rock hard. It does require you to be on your A-game a little bit with the working times of the material and making sure that you mix it for the right amount of time to get the right ratio, but also start pouring it soon enough so that it doesn't kick on you while you're in the process of trying to get it into your machine. Um, so you'll see here in a few, had a couple challenges with that, um, but let's get into it and see if we can make the print NC float. So as you can see, I had a bit of an issue with my first attempt to fill the gantry with the foam. First issue, I mixed the material for a little bit too long and it wanted to start kicking before I got through the full process of pouring it into the uh, gantry. As well, I probably mixed in too large of a batch, so it just really was a bad combination of not pouring soon enough and having too much material to get into the gantry before it started to kick. Second issue, so in the original attempt, I tried to pour the foam into a half inch hole that I had machined into the end plate. I used the same funnel that I tested with on the ABS. I expected that I wouldn't have any issues, but for some reason the, the restriction of the hole was just too much and I couldn't get the foam in there before it started to expand and eventually it just plugged up the funnel in the hole. So for my second run at it, I actually pulled the end cap off of the X gantry um, and opened up a lot more access to pour the foam in. I mixed for a shorter period of time too so that I'd have more working time with the material before it started to expand um, and would want to fill up the tube and not let me get in there. Again, it wasn't perfect, but overall much better than my first attempt. I did have to go back with a small mixture afterwards just to fill off the last couple inches of the X-Gantry. So now that I have a X-Gantry filled with foam, Let's see how it compares to baseline when it comes to cutting. Well, it's kind of a letdown. Um, as you can see here in the comparison of the cutting videos, really no difference at all between my baseline cuts and my post foam filled gantry cuts. The surface finishes are almost identical. Um, the overall noise output of the machine during cutting, almost identical. I didn't expect this foam to make substantial gains or improvements in the cut quality, uh, but I definitely thought I might see a little bit more improvement, especially with something like the chamfering pass. So I'm not saying it's a complete bust. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on the surface and finish quality of future parts I cut on the machine with the foam filled gantry. 
you know, it might have been that I was maybe just a little too aggressive on my test coupons and it was just too much on the machine and the improvement is too minimal to see in that type of cut. So maybe with some lighter finishing passes, I'll see a little bit of an improvement. I mean, overall, it was still a fun project to try to implement on the Print NC. I'm going to say probably not really worth the effort on the Print NC to go and fill the X gantry with polyurethane foam. Again, I'm super happy with this machine. I didn't need any improvements from the foam filled gantry, uh, but I definitely like to try to push the limits of the machine and see if some you know, minor improvements like something like this could make a difference for me or anyone else. Uh, so I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you learn something, you maybe realize that it's not worth your effort to do, or you want to try it a different way and see if you can get some better results than I did. But hopefully this helps kind of push you one way or the other with decisions on your, on your build in the future. So again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, stay tuned. Hopefully going to have some more fun stuff coming up on the machine here in the future but I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Thanks.